Hi everyone, it's Michelle, and today I decided to do the sweater weather tag. I saw that Ingrid had done this, um, oh gosh, on her channel maybe about a week or so ago, and I just thought it was the super cute tag for fall, and since I love fall, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do this tag too. So while well, she didn't tag me specifically, um, she tags everybody who watches the video, and of course that's what tags are all about, so I decided to go ahead and do this. Let's get on to the sweater weather tag. So the favorite, um, there's 15 questions, so I'll just go through them. So my favorite candle scent, and this one was really hard to do, so I have two of them, and they just are so amazing. So I've got leaves from Bath and Body Works, and this one, oh my gosh, it just, it smells so great. It just reminds me of this time of year, like the wood smoke in the fireplace without having that overly heavy scent. But it's got um, golden nectar, ripe delicious apple, and red berries in it. So I don't know, it's just very fruity, but it's like very warm and just like cozy. So the other one that I have is a little bit more along the woodsy kind of side, and it's this one also from Bath and Body Works, uh, Chestnut and Clove. And this one is even more cuddly, even than Leaves. Leaves is more on the fruity side, and this one's more on the musky kind of side. And this one has, uh, let's see. It says, embrace the cozy feeling of the holidays with a warm blend of dark chestnut, crisp cedar, and fresh cloves. So, it just, I don't know, it just reminds me of, like, fall and, like, fireplaces and, you know, being all nice and cozy and all of that. So, these are my two favorite candles right now. And then the next question is, um, coffee, tea, or hot chocolate? So, I'm not much for hot chocolate, but I love coffee. I'm like a coffee addict, <laughs> and I also love tea. And of course, I showed this before, but stress relief for me is a really great tea because it just keeps me nice and calm and able to unwind after a long, stressful day. I make some of this tea, and especially with the weather changing, it's very comforting. Plus, no caffeine in this, so you don't have to worry about getting all like, woohoo, before you go to bed. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Best fall memory is the next question. And this one is really hard because I get so much, like, nostalgia in fall. I don't know what it is, but when, like, the seasons change, I just keep remembering, like, all kinds of stuff that happened to me during that time. And fall, for some reason, is, like, really bad nostalgia. So, <laughs> so many memories come flooding back. Um, like, I think it's because I was excited about school was starting. That was always a great memory. I always enjoyed going to school because I'm, I'm kind of a nerd. But that's okay. Um, I enjoyed, you know, the walk to school, you know, the, the cold weather, the crisp morning air. It's just something that's always kind of made me happy. So, I don't know, I guess that's pretty much my best fall memory there, and I'm still going to school, so I still kind of have that when I'm going to class. So, um, the next question is dark lips or winged liner? And I'm not so great at the winged liner, I can do it, but it's not like something that I go to, so I would have to say dark lips. And this combination that I'm wearing right now is kind of what I've been wearing this fall, so I'll show you the colors that I have here. So this color right here is the Neutrogena, it's the moist, Moisture Stick, and this has been fantastic. I just pop this in my purse and then just pop on a little bit of color. It's kind of a sheer tint to it. So I'll swatch it right here for you, but it's a really pretty color. And this one is the Soft Raspberry, so you can see right there. And it's a really gorgeous color without it being too intense or, you know, too dramatic. So I wear it to work all the time. And then the other colors that I'm really enjoying are my Viva Glam from MAC. And this color is similar to this. It's just more of the nude color instead of the berry tone. And I'm actually wearing this and the other one at the same time. So let's watch that for you too. So you see, they're very similar in color. 
And the Viva Glam looks really good on every skin tone, so. And then to give it a little pop of drama to it, I have been using Max Half Red Lip Pencil just to add that little bit of deeper, darker color, and that's that right there. So this combination is really gorgeous, and I don't know, it's just like my go-to for fall. So that's that, and uh, let's see. The next question is, best fragrance for fall? Now this one was pretty hard for me. I mean, I love, 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 love the uh, new scent that I got, but I'm, I'm not even allowing myself to use it just yet because I was like, okay, that was a little bit of a splurge for me, so I'm gonna wait hopefully until Christmas. <laughs> so it's like a, a Christmas present to me. So, from me, to me. So I know that sounds kind of weird, but you know, I've had a pretty rough year, and so I was like, you know, I'm gonna spoil myself just a little bit. So I'm not using that one, but um, I have a couple of others that I think fit for fall. So the first one is the Very Sexy, and this is The Temptation from Victoria's Secret. And this scent is very warm. It's um, kind of along the musky side, a little bit more of a daring, you know, confident, bold scent. And I don't know, it just smells very feminine, but also like a little bit striking. So um, the only thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't have lasting power to it, and I don't know why. Um, I have the bombshell as well in this, and that one lasts a whole lot longer than this one does, like, scent-wise, on your body. I don't know, maybe it's just the way it reacts to my skin. Um, the other one that's very similar to this, but they don't actually sell it anymore in Bath & Body Works. It was a discontinued fragrance. They bring it back every once in a while. And that's the Black Amethyst. And this scent is absolutely amazing. I wore it all last fall and I'm going to be wearing it again this fall because it's just, it's very similar to the Very Sexy Temptation, but it's a little bit more warm and rich even than that one and this one has lasting power. And what it says, because I've got the, the whole set here, um, it says Black Amethyst is a sexy blend of spice and vetiver I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> Inspired by chic, sensual, and confident women. So it's a very bold scent. It's also like, I don't know, let me spray it real quick because it's been a while since I wore it. So yeah, it's like a very rich, warm scent. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, like a little bit of spice. But yeah, it's a, it's a very beautiful scent. Um, if you haven't tried it, I really do suggest trying this one. I know they don't have testers of it in Bath & Body Works anymore, but it is a very beautiful scent. And for the next question, favorite Thanksgiving food? Well, I love all food at Thanksgiving because it's just wonderful to have like, I don't know, it's just, it's part of Thanksgiving, you know, have all this food around and be grateful for that food, and so it's like always been a really treasured memory for me. And since I have such a huge family, we always have like so much food. And we have what we call, we have a special thing for our like green beans that we do, and I think every family really does. And our green bean recipe or anything, but it's really good, and so the green beans I really love. But I also love mashed potatoes because, I don't know, I'm just like a mashed potato freak. And I also like turkey, but only the dark meat turkey because it's more moist and everything. I don't like dry turkey. I don't like dry chicken. Ugh, not for me. <laughs> so I don't know, just like a smorgasbord of everything except the cranberry sauce because I'm mildly allergic to cranberries. I can drink cranberry juice, but I just can't really eat cranberries themselves. So, I would have to say pretty much everything, every Thanksgiving food is good. <laughs> um, what is the autumn weather like in the area that I live? Well, it has only recently turned cold and it's been kind of windy. Um, it's actually really still today and it's actually sunny today. So, you know, it's November and it's still sunny. We pretty much don't get, since I live in California, sunny California, so 
we pretty much don't get too much extreme until I'd say about mid-November is when we start getting like the, the cloudier, rainier type of weather. Sometimes it can last like we won't get a whole lot of rain until January. So it's kind of strange. We'll get the really super cold mornings and that's what we've had lately. But it was like, it took a long time. I mean, even on Halloween, it was pretty warm. I would think it was like 87 degrees on Halloween. So <laughs> yeah, we kind of don't have your typical fall weather where it's like really cold out there and you need scarves and mittens and stuff. We don't really generally get that. Uh, the next question, so is my my most worn sweater? So since it's only recently been getting chilly, I haven't really been wearing sweaters. I mean, right now I'm wearing, you know, long sleeve thermal kind of shirt because I went out this morning, it was really cold. Uh, I have a sweater that I've been wearing a lot for work and it's just your standard black. So I would have to say like the most worn sweater that I've like not been forced to wear but that I want to wear is this one right behind me here. And I got this in our mall and it's just this really really cute like sweater shirt type. You can see through it so I wear my little half shirt underneath it so that nobody sees like the outline of my bra or whatever because I just think that's tacky. Um, <laughs> I don't, I'm not really comfortable with people seeing that. But it came with this beautiful necklace that goes along with it, and I really have, am loving this necklace that goes with it. And it's this nice salmon color, which goes really well with my skin tone. I mean, it's like almost similar color to that, just a, a little bit lighter. Um, and I got it at, it's called cutegirls.com, and it's this little store in our mall. And I don't know if there's like more of them, I don't know anything about that store. I just popped in there because I thought it was interesting. And I picked this sweater up, and it's super comfortable. It's a little baggy, like the sleeves and everything, which I love, because I don't like things that are super tight on me. I just don't like being constricted. So this one's really nice, and it's flowy, and it sits right at your waist, like on your hips. So this is perfect to pair it with, like, some nice jeans, and then you can pair it with some boots for a nice, you know, cozy fall-winter look. Or you can, like, I don't know, hang it off the, the side and have, like, your little tank top underneath showing and then pair it with even like flats or tennis shoes or whatever. So this has been really great. I'm actually going to wear it tomorrow. Um, let's see. Must have nail polish for this fall. So when I was doing my shopping on Ulta to get the cargo palette, I also picked up some nail polish and I got OPI. And this is actually one of the ones I've been wearing recently. And this is Mirror Mirror on the Wall. And it's a really pretty multifaceted colored nail polish. In certain lights it's like a greenish. And then other lights it's like a gold. And other lights it's a purple. And then also like brown. So it's got a lot of different color variations in it. And it's just a very rich, beautiful, dark color for fall. And I've been pairing that with my Sally Hansen Antique Bronze, and that's this color right here. And it's a very nice, it's almost a rose gold color. So I've been using this as like my accent color and then using this for the rest of my nails. And it's just been a super combination. I've gotten so many compliments, everyone's like, oh I love your nail polish, it's so pretty. So this is the combination I've been using. I also picked up OPI's um, Peace and Love. For fall, because I thought this would be a really good fall color, but I'm thinking I'm probably going to turn this into more of a winter color. I'm not sure. I am, I'm not too partial to blue nail polish, and I didn't really care too much for this one. I still like it, but I don't know. I have to pair it with something else to see, like, maybe that'll make me like it some more. So, uh, let's see. So, football games or jumping in leaf piles? Well, I used to do both. <laughs> I was like, yay, football, you know, I loved watching football and everything with my family, and then I had something kind of bad happen around that time, so I stopped watching football. And anyway, I'm not going to go into any kind of details or anything. 
Um, so I would have to say jumping in leaf piles is like for me. I was even joking around with it about my sister, with my sister, that we should, um, we have like landscapers that take care of like our yards and stuff because I live in like a community where we have like landscaping and stuff. So they take care of the landscaping and they had a leaf pile and I was joking with her saying, oh, we should totally jump in the leaf pile. And I was like, no, that would probably piss them off. And They'd be really upset with us, and I said, yeah, we should go around, like, jumping in all the leaf piles, so, anyway. Uh, bad joke, but <laughs> it was just one of those things where I was, like, being, trying to be funny. Um, skinny jeans or leggings, and the thing is, sorry, I'm sitting on my legs, so they went and fell asleep on me. <laughs> so... I don't really wear skinny jeans and I don't really wear leggings, so I'd probably have to say neither of those, but I do wear boot cut jeans, so that would be the one for me. Uh, let's see, combat boots or Uggs? Well, I don't have a pair of combat boots and I don't have a pair of Uggs, but I do have this pair of boots right here. So these are my chocolate brown knee high boots and I love them. I got them several years ago at Victoria's Secret. They were supposed to be Skechers, but they don't have the Skecher logo on them, so I have no idea. But it's the same one that I did purchase, so I mean, maybe they are, they just don't have the logo on them. But they've held up really well all these years. They're really comfortable, and they're just like classic, classic chocolate brown boots. So I wear this with everything, and I might pair it with that sweater as well. Alright, uh, let's see here. Is pumpkin spice worth the hype? Well, I have no idea because I haven't used pumpkin spice yet, but maybe I will do that this year when I make a pumpkin pie. Uh, let's see, favorite fall TV show? Well, I have to skip that one because I actually don't watch TV. I know, I'm kind of weird like that. Um, yeah. So, for the things that I am watching right now, I would have to just say that I've been watching It's Judy's Life, and I love watching her vlogs. They're such a cute family, and... Song that gets you in the fall spirit. Well, that would have to be The Neighborhood and Sweater Weather. I love, love that song, and I also love their other song that's out, and I don't remember what it's called. What is it called? I have it written down. Anyway, uh, let's see if I can remember it. Nope, not there. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> uh, if I do remember it, I will put it in the about bar below. So anyway, um, yeah, it would have to be Sweater Weather by The Neighborhood because I just, I really love that song. I think they did an excellent job on it. The music video is a little strange, but whatever. Music videos are strange anyway. So that is the end of this tag, and I hope that so many more of you do this. I tag every single one of you that watches this to do this tag as well. I will have the questions all down below. And so anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this tag, and I will link where I got it in the about bar below. And you have a very beautiful day. Keep watching Shadow Miss 90 at blogspot.com to see what's coming up next, and I will see you in the next video. Much love. Bye!